the digital asset investor. Today I wanted to talk to you about the bird in the hand. You've heard, you've all heard the saying, a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. Well, I think we often, um, as XRP holders, we often lose sight of the bird in the hand that we have, the automatic that we, that we have that, uh, and a lot of times we get focused on other things like partnerships and things like Coinbase and different, you know, other things that are outside of Ripple, the company that where things that they're deals that they're working on or whether or not we're going to get put on Coinbase. Um, I've shown you this spreadsheet before a list of partnerships. Sometimes we get focused on those things, which are all great things, but we lose sight. Some of you may not even know this may be your first time truly realizing um, one part of Ripple's plan, in my opinion, the smartest part of their plan. But the part that we forget, the bird, our bird in the hand, and this, in my opinion, is the thing not that could happen or might happen, but is going to happen and is happening right now. And that is what SBI Ripple Asia is doing. Um, for those of you that do not know, I've, I've talked about this before, but for those of you that do not know, this is your bird in the hand. About two years ago, Ripple did something genius and they sold 10.5% of their company to the SBI group and formed what's called SBI Ripple Asia. Um, the reason I'm telling you about this today is because of certain uh, news, a news clip that I'll show you in a second. But this right here is is probably the biggest thing, especially in, in, in the uh, near future, this is gonna happen this year, not next year, this year. This is happening now. Um, but what I want to make sure some all of you understand, if you don't already, about two years ago, 10.5% was bought, and then what, what the SBI group did is they immediately formed this SBI Ripple Asia, and the first thing they did is formed the Japanese Bank Consortium. And when they did that, they, they, the whole purpose of it was to get most of the banks uh, in Japan together. And so what they did, and it says it right, I believe it says it in this article, right up here. The, Jap the Japan Bank Consortium led by SBI Ripple Asia covers more than 80% of, Jap of the Japanese banking assets with 61 member banks and all. Now I've shown you this before, those of you that have been around, but um, the reason I'm bringing it back up is because of the news, the recent news, and um, there was two, uh, one piece of news and one update that I saw this morning, and I'm gonna show you those now. But I want this, for those of you that haven't heard it yet, let that sink in. R this C SBI Ripple Asia, they own 10.5% of Ripple, and the, the consortium that they control is 80% of the Japanese banking assets, okay? And they've got, they've got a couple of goals, or, or really one main goal, which is to link all of those banks together. And this, this particular article was about the instant transfer app. So what they're doing is across all of those banks, they're trying to get... They're getting the app set up so that all those member banks customers will be able to go from their bank account with one member bank and do an, into an, another person's bank account with a different member bank. And so, and so they're starting out with X current, which is, which is right before X rapid, but here's what I want to show you next. So this is what came out this week. This is the CEO of SBI Holdings. I don't ever try to say his name because I know I'll mess it up. Um, but this is the CEO of SBI Holdings. They had a, the Japan Blockchain Conference. And apparently this girl was act, at the conference and she tweeted this this week. And it says uh, that, that he, this is a quote from him, stated an hour ago in the keynote, using XRP can create a more efficient world. Um, and this guy, the same guy, who this is this is the CEO of SBI Holdings. The same guy in the past 
has said that XRP will go to $10 this year, and he's also said that he's all in on XRP. Um, so the CEO of the holding company that can that basically runs the Japanese bank consortium, which is 80% of the Japanese banks, uh, if you need a no-brainer, there's a no-brainer, okay? All right, next. What, what they're doing over there in conjunction with this They've, they've, they're rolling out SBI Venture Capital here. They refer to it as SBI Securities. But SBI Venture Capital this, this month had started with 20,000 customers. They're going to open that up to their 4.26 million accounts plus the SBI Net Bank, which is 3.21 million accounts. So the, these this is going to happen in July and this is where they're going to get their liquidity for the purposes of the movement of money around that Japanese bank consortium, all those banks, but they have to have this first. This is what's going on next. So here's the, when you, when you heard this past month, Brad Garlinghouse, he was asked in an interview and I showed you this the other day. He was at, they were asked, are you, are you sticking to the fact that the banks, uh, at least a bank will use XRP this year? And he, and they asked him and Brad Garlinghouse said a hundred percent. Well, if you've got the bird in the hand, of course, you know, for a hundred percent, uh, it, it, he says dozens next year will go online. Wonder where those dozens that he's thinking about would come from first. And that's not to say that there won't be dozens in the United States too, or all over the world. It could be Bank of Santander, but I'm just talking about the bird in the hand. Do you know how many digital currencies in the cryptocurrency space have a bird in the hand like, like we XRP holders do? The answer to that would be zero. Zero. I want to further make my point with a little illustration I put together, just a hypothetical really. Let's say that I opened up uh, a company like Ripple, and I call it the Acme Blockchain Corporation. And my goal with this company is that we, I was going to focus, it's going to be a company focused on the retail use case, just like Ripple is focused on the use case moving money between banks. My company would be focused on the retail use case. And the digital asset token or token that I'm going to use with my Acme Blockchain Corporation is it's got the symbol AME. That's that's the token that I've decided we're going to use with that company. Okay, and now you as a as a potential um, investor, that sounds okay. Yeah. Oh, great. He's gonna he's gonna um, go for the uh, use case um, of the retail. That that sounds great. All right, and then I tell you. By the way, Amazon owns 10.5% of my company. Do you look at it a little bit differently now? I'll bet you do, and you should. But you, as an XRP holder, right now, it would be like you being a part of Acme Blockchain Corporation and Amazon owns 10.5%. What do you think might happen with that token? with Amazon having that kind of an ownership stake in it. All right, I, th I think I made my point. Okay, I thought I'd give a few shout outs today and show you guys some of the some of the people I watch on YouTube. Um, I've given shout outs to a lot of these guys in the past, but I wanted to be pretty thorough today. Um, Alex Cobb, of course, um, CKJ Crypto, DM Logic. This is the bearable guy, uh, I don't think it's the real bearable guy, but it, it's, he still puts together some good videos. So it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter as long as he's putting together good factual information, he can call himself whatever he wants. Bank XRP has a YouTube and a Twitter. Most of these guys have Twitter, but Bank XRP kind of, I think he started with Twitter and he, he's really good on Twitter. Jungle Inc, Altcoin Buzz, Esoteric Trading, The Modern Investor. Um, this one y'all may not have heard of, but they, they post up a video about once a month but it's a it's actually CNBC uh, like out of Africa or something but they do a real they go to like blockchain conferences and they do it's really interesting some of their videos this was the bearable guy one two three that popped up right after the the real bearable guy 
uh, came into the, like, opened his Twitter account. So I don't know what this guy's affiliation is. Shrilla King, Crypto Espy. And I want to I specifically talk about Chris, but Crypto Espy. You guys uh, have probably um, seen my new logo and the background on my YouTube channel and the background on my Twitter feed. And Crypto Espy, out of the kindness of his heart, uh, helped me. He's got a background in this kind of thing. And he, he put those uh, graphics together for me and didn't charge me a penny. And I really appreciate that. And um, he's also going to help me ramp up my... Um, very soon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put together a live stream. That's coming pretty soon. And so Crypto Espy is going to help me do that. Um, I've also got Thinking Crypto. This Professor P, I, I just saw him the other day, and he seemed like a smart guy, and so I started watching him. Crypto Nomad's great. He's very thorough. He's got a great, uh, got some great, he's a lot better on the computer than I am. He's got some great graphics. <laughs> um, love for Crypto. Island Hopper TV, this is just something I signed up for because the guy that's on Altcoin Buzz, his name's Jeff something or other, the guy that, he talks about all kinds of digital currencies, but he's also got this Island Hopper TV where he shows you all these different places in the world that he's traveled. And so I subscribed to that and watched a couple of his videos. Um, top tech services. Okay. While I'm here, I want to at least tell you guys about something before I move on. Uh, I joined this YouTube originals for one reason and one reason only because they did, they have got a show on there that is, uh, it's the, uh, the Karate Kid, you know, everybody's seen the movie, The Karate Kid. Well, you can go on YouTube Originals. They, the first two episodes, I believe, are free to watch. Then you have to uh, start a free trial, and you can watch. It. They did The Karate Kid. They took the same people, Johnny and, and um, Ralph Macchio. The, the same guys are, are in it, but it's fast forward, and now they're, now they're middle-aged men, and it's really good. You, you wouldn't think that they'd be able to put that together and make it really good, but they did. They did a really good job with it. If I were y'all, I'd watch that. Anywho, I didn't get paid to say that or anything. I'm just telling you, that's good. All right. Um, I wanted to thank some people for... I've had people that have, uh, have been so nice uh, on Twitter, and they're t telling people they should go watch my channel and all this and, and, my, and follow me on Twitter. And so I just wanted to say thanks for that. These are some of those some, those same people, um, but just remember those guys over on the uh, that I mentioned on YouTube, like DM Logic is not in this, um, Crypto Espy's on on uh, Twitter. Go and follow the, the same guys that you're watching on YouTube. Follow them on Twitter because most of us are very active on both, and so um, be sure and do that. Final thing I wanted to talk about. My contest, my contest, my 300 XRP giveaway ends on Sunday, which is July the 1st. On July the 1st, I'm giving 300 XRP to one of you. But in order to win, you have to do this. It, you don't have to take a picture of yourself like this guy did. But I do want you to, it, it, uh, what, the, what the contest is about is we want to see what you're going to do if XRP actually hit that bearable guy $589. And so... Just take a it can be a picture of a Learjet if you think you're going to buy one a Learjet or it can be a picture of a mansion or a Porsche or whatever. Take I want the picture and then in the picture you have to put you have got to watch the Digital Asset Investor on YouTube and then you've got to do these uh, hashtags and and reference me in the in the tweet and do those things and you will be eligible. I'm going to go through and look at all these this weekend and uh, pick a winner and then maybe down the road we'll do it again or do a different kind of contest. Well, thank you all for watching. Remember, I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. And also remember, and I've had a few people ask me to demonstrate the use of the ledger. There are so many great videos out there, unless y'all just want me, unless you just want to see me do it or, or me to show you, there are, you can go to Ledger's website and in, in the link of every one of my, in the description of every one of my videos, I have a link that takes you directly to Ledger's website where you can buy one by a Ledger because it's the safest way to store your cryptocurrencies by far so that a hacker cannot get to them. So in the link, but you can also, when you go there, you, they've also got videos where you can watch them. Uh, they have videos on every aspect of setting up the Ledger and 
everything having to do with the ledger, they've got a video for it. Okay, so um, watch that. And then they're all over YouTube as well. But if y'all keep uh, asking me, then I'll eventually I'll make my own video of it. Okay, well, thank y'all for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't and pass this around. Once I cross 5,000 subscribers, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I think YouTube frees me up to do a lot more things at that point. And I'm, I'm very close. I should cross the 5,000 subscriber mark this week. Uh, thanks to you guys, but everybody out there, I really appreciate everybody watching. And, um, I never thought that I, I never thought I would have a hundred subscribers, but I feel like maybe, maybe I'm either doing something right or I just plugged into something that's bigger than I am. Well, thank you guys for watching.